Close your eyes. Make up your mind you're going to stay with the breath. Watch the breath all the way in, all the way out. Any other thoughts come up, just let them go. You want to have some control over your mind. Because if you can't control your own mind, what can you control in this world? Everything comes out of the mind. Your thoughts, your words, your deeds, and these are the th things you use to shape the world around you and shape the world inside you. But if you don't have any control of them, who's in charge? It's like having a factory. The owner of the factory is off someplace else, and the factory just does its own thing and depends on who knows what. You have to keep watch over your factory to make sure that it's producing good goods. Otherwise, people get lazy, they start letting things go. Quality control goes down. And when the time comes where you really need to have your mind under control, you okay, you don't have any handle on it. So make up your mind you're going to stay right here, and that if any other thought comes, you're going to say no, 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 you're going to stay with the breath. And try to make the breath as interesting and comfortable as possible, because the more interesting and comfortable the breath is, the more you're likely to stay with it. And how is the breath interesting? You realize there are lots of different ways you can breathe. Longer, shorter, deeper, shallower, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. You can think of the breath not just as the air coming in and out of the lungs, but also the energy flowing through the nerves, flowing you through, your ner through your blood vessels. And then you can begin to ask, oh, what is this doing for my body? Which parts of the body are getting the energy they need, which parts are not? What if I change? What if I breathe in such a way that the whole body feels nourished with the breath? What does that do to your state of mind? What does that do for the health of the body? You find there's a lot to explore here with the breath. And the more interested you get in the breath, the less likely you are to go wandering off. This is one way of staying firm with your original intention. In other words, you use your discernment. You don't just force things. You use your, your discernment to make it more interesting and more enjoyable to be here. It's the same when, when you want to control your thoughts in other ways. You can't just you know stamp down and forbid the mind to think certain things, because as soon as you forbid it to think th certain things, that's the first thing it's going to think of. So you've got to find other ways of thinking, other things, of getting yourself more interested in doing what's right, so the mind is willing to go along. It's in this way. You use your discernment in order to bring your mind under control. When the mind is under control, then you can shape your life in the way you want it. You can think things through, see what's consistent, what's not consistent with your basic desire for true happiness. And then as life continues, you find you're dealing with other issues you didn't expect. Aging comes before you expect it. Illness comes without asking permission. As for death, you have no way of determining when that's going to be. And yet you want to be ready for these things. They could come at any time. Because at times like that, it's not the aging and illness and death that causes suffering. It's the mind's own inability to keep some control over its thoughts. You start running off with worried about this, worried about that, upset about this, thinking about how long you've been suffering, how much longer you're going to be suffering. These kinds of thoughts are not good for the mind. They're not good for your true, be true well-being. So you have to learn how to say no to these thoughts. And the best way to say no to them is to learn how to practice just saying no to anything that's going to keep you away from the breath. This gives you practice. Just because something comes up in the mind doesn't mean you have to follow it, doesn't mean you have to believe it. Don't believe everything you think. Don't believe everything you believe. Even You have to ask questions about things. This way you can step back from your thoughts, and then you become more in control. You're not their slave anymore. You're the one in charge. That way your mind helps you instead of hindering your search for true happiness. So always try to keep on top of things like this, starting with the mind and working out using the breath as your ally in your search for how to get the mind under your control and how to take that mind once it's been trained and use it for the sake of true happiness. It all starts right here.